All right, Carl. Long time, I see. Too long, mate. Too long. Where to come in? Ah, cool man. Come in, me brethren. How you been? Been all right? Yeah, take a seat, man. So this is Gappy. He's a bit like, like a mentor. You know, someone you can go to when you've got the weight of the whole world on your shoulders. Like the only person that will really listen to you. Do you know what I mean? So what happened, man? You've been fighting? Oh, I have been having too much luck, Gappy, lately, man. Well, you know, that's life, Colin. Full of ups and downs, twists and turns. Sometime you've got to hit rock bottom. Then the only way is up. How's Tony? You seen him lately? Yeah, I still see him about, but me and him got nicked to while back for some stupidness. You're joking. But he has been talking about doing LSD and taking ecstasy and shit. You shouldn't mess with them things, Dredd. You should come to my workplace, see for yourself what damage them drugs can do to people. What, at the Avenger Project? Nah, I mean, no work there no more. He's a qualified psychiatric nurse now. Really? I have an interesting job and work with the most amazing individuals. What, in the night house? Nah, let me tell you, some of them people not as crazy as I'm seen. Some are even more intelligent than you think. Some are even too intelligent for their own good. Let me tell you about this one patient called Benjamin. Benjamin is a quiet soul and does keep himself to himself most of the time. But as him get to know me, and gradually open up and tell me how he end up in a hospital. Don't get on it. Shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be here. What's the matter, Benjamin? No one's listening to me. No one. No one's listening to me. Benjamin. No one's listening. What exactly no is it you'd like to tell me? They keep poisoning me, poisoning me, <sighs> making me sick. Who? Who kept poisoning you? My family. My own family. But why? <laughs> I shouldn't be here. I want my job back. Stocks and shares. Stocks and shares. I said I was brilliant. I won an award. Employee of the year. I was earning thousands and thousands. for a reason. Time is a great healer. So just give yourself that time to heal. Okay. We don't want you or anyone else getting upset over these matters in the future. Okay? Okay. That's some deep shit, man. You should come down and meet him one day. He's a lovely bloke. It's a sad, sad story. Sounds legit as well. You I mean that? Like, why would anyone make that shit up for no reason? Do you know what I mean? Exactly! Everyone else thinking just a schizo, so it's like the perfect crime. Getting away with mashing up your own brother's mind. The things people do to each other nowadays just to gain money. Money is the root of all evil dread. 
the root of all evil. One corp, stone cold. Been dead about five hours. Is that what killed him? Oh, without a doubt. Have you found him yet? Who? Oh. Dave? If he done it, I want him to be put away for life. Just calm down, will you? We don't even know he did it yet or not. Your stepdad and the people you hang about with, Jackie, could put Dave in a little leap, to be honest. Look at you. Look at you, Lord. I mean, you couldn't even find your own bollocks. That's if you had any. Get out of here! Before I have your arrest on use of crude language on a police officer. Like I said, tell that bunch of cretins you hang about with. They're all being investigated for your boyfriend's murder. Every last one of them. You're a dark horse. You're one to talk. I know all about that bank robber and his son you single-handedly hauled in down in Epping six weeks ago. What about them? They couldn't even read or write. I didn't have the sense they were born with, mate, yet suddenly, seven grand goes missing. What are you saying? You're not the first dirty copper on a false type, and you certainly won't be the last. Yeah, slander! Do you really want to go there? All right, no! Because private school fees are crippling me. So, you needed the money. Hi there. I basically wrote a screenplay about a man who's been unfaithful to his wife. His wife is barren. She can't have children right here and now. Uh, so he goes off and has an affair with a married woman who's his friend, his, his wife's friend. And that ain't gonna work at all. As far as I'm concerned, he shouldn't have done that. But she finds out about that.